former cricketers are also now uh, taking the umpiring job who are good cricketers or non cricketers <laughs> Well, look, statistically, I can tell you that the umpires get it right more than 93% of the time. And the players under DRS probably get their appeals about 25% correct. So um, I think statistically, we know who the better umpires are. Um, but that doesn't stop the odd player wanting to be an umpire from square leg or, or second slip or first slip. How was your experience of umpiring in Pakistan? And how did you feel when you uh, came during PSL? Uh, look, I've always enjoyed my uh, umpiring in Pakistan. You know, it was probably one of the countries I'd go to at least a couple of times of the year when I was on the elite panel. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, of course, we had that terrible incident back in 2009 that really affected, I suppose, uh, a lot of us directly, but also some of our umpiring colleagues and obviously security forces and, and our driver on the day. So that was certainly a sad day for cricket um, in Pakistan. But Having been back to PSL a couple of years ago now to to visit and do some work with uh, Dr. Kashif Fansari uh, around um, donating blood and some of his um, his charity work, it's certainly great to be part of that and really enjoyed getting back to Karachi then. Your views on Pakistan empires? My views on Pakistan? What Pakistan do you mean by empires, that? Uh, like Ali Dar. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, look, uh, look, they've proven themselves to be really good umpires. Uh, Asan Raza, I've known for a long time. Certainly um, a very, very competent and a very uh, outstanding umpire. I think he holds the record now for probably the most number of T20 matches officiated. Um, so that's certainly been um, a, a really good achievement on his behalf. And Alim Dar, who's now got the world record and the number of test matches officiated. Of course. But I think the challenge now for us is, well, where are the, um, the future Pakistan umpires coming from? Has technology made the job of umpires easier or harder? Oh, it depends which way you look at it. Um, some people might say it's easier because most decisions are going to the third umpire now. Some might say it's harder because you get more instant feedback and higher scrutiny. So it really depends upon your, I suppose, the way that you look at technology. But my view is, is that it should be there to support us, not replace us. Okay. Is umpiring a thankless job? Thankless job. Yeah. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't think you go into umpiring to be necessarily thanked uh, or appreciated or or to receive accolades or awards. You go in to do your best and, you know, contribute to the game. But it's one of those sorts of activities that when you do well, no one says anything. And when you make a mistake, of course, everyone's an expert. So perhaps I can understand that view, but it's an incredibly rewarding um, thing to do. Uh, it's not for everyone, and that's why within the accreditation course at the ICC Academy, we're trying to help people really face those challenges and really enjoy that chosen contribution to cricket. Has there ever been in any interesting uh, incident on the field during your well, it was only, yeah, look, it was only recently with the, the passing of Andrew Simons that, um, that I reflected upon one of the funniest moments I had on the cricket field was when a streaker... Uh, um, decided to invade the pitch uh, in one of our games and Andrew was was at the non-strikers in and as the streaker got towards me, um, Andrew decided to drop the shoulder and, and basically knock him over with a, a really big tackle. Uh, that was probably one of the funniest moments I've had on the field, but uh, unfortunately it was only a memory to mind uh, with the sad passing of Andrew and, and our condolences and thoughts go out to his friends, family and teammates accordingly.